Hello beautiful yogis, welcome to class today. This is a gentle pajama flow in yin based off of a re request of one of my students. So thank you for coming today. We're just gonna go ahead and start with your feet out in front of you. And you could have your hands on your knees and go ahead and bring your forehead um, down. So you're just dropping your chin into your chest and just move into your breath. Feel the whole backside of your back opening as you feel the ribs expanding. So my head's not all the way down, I'm just kind of letting it fall forward just a little bit. And I want to make sure I have enough room to still breathe. So come into the breath, slow it down, start to move into the space of the room. You can feel your stomach expanding on your thighs. Find the even turning of the breath. So as you inhale, think about inhaling for maybe like a count of four, for example. And as you exhale, exhale for count of four as well. Now hold it at the bottom, inhale for four. Hold it at the top, exhale for four. Hold it at the bottom, inhale for four. Hold it, exhale for four. Hold it, inhale for four. Hold it, exhale for four. Hold it. Keep breathing, keep moving on the breath. Maybe you constrict the back of your throat to create that ujjayi sound to help warm the body. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Let's gently take our hands, put it on our knees. We can wake the body up just a little bit and find a nice cow face. So sit up high onto the tailbones, lift through your chest. You might wanna widen your knees just a little bit so that you can lift your heart and your chest, roll the shoulders down and back. Exhale, find a cat posture, round your spine, bring your chin in. Inhale, cow face. Exhale, cat posture. Inhale, cow face. Exhale, cat posture. One more, inhale, cow face. Exhale, cat posture. Inhale, cow face. And hold it here. Let's go ahead, take your right arm, lift it all the way up and over to the back of the room. Take your left arm and reach it all the way up and over. Just feeling a nice little gentle stretch. You can go ahead, come up and around to the other side. Take your left hand behind you, reach your right arm up and overhead. And inhale to the center. Let's go ahead, come to all fours. So swing your legs around to the back of the mat. And let's take our right arm and our left leg. Kick your foot towards the back of the room, point your thumb towards the ceiling. So you're pressing your left hand into the floor. Lift up and out of the left shoulder. Exhale, bring your elbow into your knee. We've got three. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, two. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, one. Inhale, lengthen. Drop your arm and your leg, and let's work the other side. Inhale. Straighten your arm and your leg, kick the heel towards the back of the room. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. One more. Inhale, lengthen. 
exhale, elbow to knee. Slowly come out of it and find yourself back into your tabletop position. We'll go ahead, curl your toes under, find your downward facing dog, pedal the feet out. So don't worry you guys, this is not gonna be anything that any of you guys can't do. This is just a 30 minute gentle flow. It will be over before you know it. So as you're pedaling your feet left and right, left and right, just feel the whole back side of the body getting a nice long stretch. And in your downward dog, feel free to play with it. You can move your hips to one side if you'd like. Come up and over to the other side. You might feel the stretch in the side body as you do that. So just feel free to play. You can even drop your hips all the way down to the floor. Let's go ahead and do that. Inhale back into your downward facing dog. Pivot your feet and then drop your hips to the other side. Inhale, lift it back up. Ah. Let's dip in a deep inhale. Come up high on your tippy toes. Exhale, drop your heels. Inhale, come up high on the toes. Exhale, drop the heels down. One more, inhale, come up high on the tippy toes. Exhale, drop the heels down to the floor. Last one, come up high on the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands and walk or jump to the top of the mat, forward fold. So take your hands, put them onto your elbows and just let everything hang heavy down towards the floor. You can shake your head a couple of times, yes and no. So in this yin class, I have all my fun jewelry on. It just kind of makes me feel all magical. <laughs> and um, it's just kind of fun. Inhale, find your half lift. So put your hands onto your shins. Reach the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Hug your belly in and shift the weight into your toes. See if you can try to get your hips over the balls of your, or over your ankles. Exhale, fold down towards the floor. Inhale, root to rise. Bring your arms all the way out and up overhead. See if you can get your palms to touch, cross just the thumbs, and find a baby back bend. Push your hips forward and reach your heart up and back. Exhale, bring your hands into heart center. Stand tall, so ground down through all four corners of your feet. Lift through the arches of your feet, and maybe even lift your toes just for a second. Spread them wide, and then go ahead and grip the ground again, kind of using your toes like fingers. Now find a neutral position with your pelvis. So if you're a big back bender, maybe you wanna tuck it in, try to find a neutral pelvis. And if you spill your pelvis forward a lot, maybe you wanna tip it back, find a neutral spine. Take your shoulders and then maybe lift them up, over and back, draw them all the way down towards the floor. And let's release our hands down towards the ground, stretching your fingertips all the way down towards the floor. Now there's a bump on the back of your head and it's called your occipital ridge. Imagine you're lifting it up tall towards the ceiling. So take a deep inhale, exhale. Find the inward spiral of the thighs. One more deep inhale, exhale. Reach your arms out and up, look up. Exhale, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Bring your arms all the way out and up overhead. Bring your hands together. Cross the thumbs. Find the baby back bend. Push your hips forward. Heart up and back. Exhale, hands in the heart center. Stretch your hands all the way down towards the floor. Stand up tall. Find a nice standing posture. Hug the belly in. And then inhale, bring your arms out and up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, find the half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Bring the arms all the way out and up overhead. Maybe you gaze up. Exhale, hands in the heart center. Last one, stretch your hands all the way down towards the floor. Rolling the shoulders down and back. Find your inner smile. Deep inhale, bring your arms out and up overhead. Look up. Exhale, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, flat back. 
Exhale, fold. This time in our fold, stay down there. Press your left hand into the mat. Bend your left knee and inhale, raise your right arm up towards the sky or towards the ceiling. So find a gentle twist here. And then go ahead, release your hand down to the floor. Bend your left knee, or bend your right knee and then straighten the left. Look up over the left hand, reaching the left hand tall towards the sky. And then gently release the left hand down towards the floor. Inhale, find the half lift. Exhale, fold. And so now if the floor is ever, if you're not flexible enough, make sure you have soft knees in your first forward fold. Use blocks if you need them. The blocks can help bring the floor to you so that you're not straining. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Bring your arms all the way out and up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands in the heart center. Let's go ahead and take your right hand down to the right hip and then reach the left arm up overhead. So I just wanted to show you guys really quick. So you're standing at the top of your mat. Reach your left hand all the way up and over to the right side of the mat. Maybe even shift your hips a little to the left. And then inhale, bring your arms up and over to the other side. Gaze underneath the right bicep. And then lift your hands up tall towards the sky. Take your hands, interlace all 10 fingers, flip your palms up towards the ceiling, and then pull your biceps back by the ears. It's really stretching in through the shoulders in this first couple of moves. And then gently release your hands all the way down towards the floor. Let's go ahead, step back, find your plank position. So hug the belly in, press your hands down into the floor, and then drop your knees, chin and chest, slither all the way down to the floor, eight point salute. Bring your biceps into the side ribs, and then snake it all the way down onto your belly. Bring your hands by your side for a cobra lift. So your hands come right by your shoulders, sip in a deep inhale, and then peel your chest off the floor. Squeeze your inner thighs and your ankles together, as you look up, press the tops of the feet down into the floor. Maybe your knees float up off the ground. Exhale, come on down to the floor. Let's do two more of those. Deep inhale. Look up in order to go up. And then exhale down. We've got one more. Inhale. And then exhale down. Curl your toes under. Shift back into your tabletop. Inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Curl the toes under, pedal the feet out left and right, left and right. Come up high on the toes, bend the knees, look between the hands and walk or jump to the top of the mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold down towards the floor. Inhale, root to rise. Bring your arms all the way out and up overhead. And then exhale, bring your hands in the heart center. Go ahead, take your left foot and step the left foot towards the back of the room. So our feet are parallel like a railroad track. And then take the left foot and turn it into a 30 degree angle. So like it's, it's a warrior one position. Melt into the right leg. Inhale, lift your arms up towards the sky. So melt the shoulders down and back. And then find the inner spiral of the left thigh, squaring off your hips as you pull your right hip back, left hip a little bit more forward. So inhale, lift the arms, engage your core, melt into the right leg. Lift through the arches of the back foot as well. Let's go ahead, take your arms down and back, finding a power lunge. Squeeze your triceps together as you lift through the heart. Inhale, lift it up. Arms go up tall towards the sky. Two more. Exhale, drop your arms down and back. Lift through your heart. One more. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, drop your arms down and back. Power lunge. 
Last one, inhale, lift. And then exhale, bring it into standing. So step the left foot forward, bring your hands into heart center. Warrior one on the other side. Let's take our right foot, step it back. So bring your feet into a parallel position. Point your toes to a 30 degree angle. So pretty much your toes are pointed off to the corner of your mat. And they're lifting through the back arches of the foot. And again, take this thigh, find the inner spiral as you take your right hip, pulling it forward, pull the left hip back. So you melt into the left knee. So if the left knee is ever in front of the toes like this, you need to take a wider stance. You always want the knee behind the foot. So find the warrior one on the other side. Sip in a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, deep inhale. Exhale. Moving into our power lunge, drop the arms down and back. Lift through your heart, squeeze your pinkies together. So find that flat back, inhale, lift it up towards the sky. You've got two more, you can do it. Exhale, drop your arms down and back. Inhale, lift. Last one, drop the arms down and back. Inhale, lift it up. And go ahead, take your right foot to meet the left. Stand at the top of the mat. Bring your hands into heart center. Let's take a half vinyasa. Inhale, lift your arms out and up overhead. Exhale, swan dive all the way down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, find the flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise. Bring your arms all the way out and up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands in the heart center. Let's go ahead and take the right foot. Step it all the way out into a wide leg lunge or a wide leg um, position. So we have our toes in and our heels are out. Bring your arms out to the side. Go ahead and find a, um, a little bit of a back bend. So take your palms to the side of the room. Push your hips forward. Lift your heart towards the sky. And then exhale with a flat back. Swan dive down towards the floor. So take your hands to the floor. If you need blocks, use blocks. And if you're able to walk your hands toward the back of the room, go ahead and do so. Pointing your fingertips towards the back. Find the breath. And then you can try to shift the weight forward into your toes so that your hips are over your ankles. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Come into your half lift. Find the half lift. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Let's do one more. Inhale. Half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Last one. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold. Soften through the knees, slowly roll all the way up towards the sky. Bring your arms all the way out and up overhead, creating the letter A. Cross your thumbs, palms together, and then roll the shoulders down and back. Move into a warrior two. So pivot the right foot to the back of the room. Bend through the right knee. Stretch your arms in opposition. Drop the left hip down towards the floor. Maybe gaze down that front middle finger. Take your knee, push it back towards the pinky edge of the toe. So maybe you see your big toe, your big toe on the inside of the leg if you're gazing down the inner thigh. Lift your right hand towards the ceiling. Reach your arm all the way up and over. Drop the left hand down. Fan out the right side ribs as you stretch the whole right side of the body. Melt into the right leg a little bit more. Breathe. Side angle, cartwheel your arms all the way up and over, right elbow hits your right knee, and then reach your left arm towards the ceiling. Roll your left shoulder open, look up towards the back of the left hand. 
and then reach your arms bring them parallel to the floor straighten your right leg go ahead and tip your left hip to the back of the room reach your right hand towards the back of the room and then drop it down to your shin or to the outside of your ankle or you can use a block okay so use blocks if you need them and then reach your left hand up tall towards the ceiling find the inner smile and then you can gaze down at the right foot bend the right knee as you slowly rise bringing your arms parallel, parallel to the floor inhale straighten your right leg pivot your right foot back towards the center finding your letter a and then pivot the left foot towards the front of the room cartwheel your arms open as you stretch them in opposition warrior two opposite direction so drop the right hip down melt into the left knee again push it back towards the pinky edge of the toe and then melt your shoulders down away from the ears as you stretch your arms long wrap your muscles around the bones find the breath find the softness in the position flip your hand up towards the ceiling inhale reverse warrior reach your arm all the way up and over maybe you gaze underneath the left arm as you fan out the left side ribs moving the side angle so cartwheel your arms up and over drop your left elbow to the left knee and reach your right arm up towards the ceiling And then straighten your left leg reach your arms in opposition tip your right hip to the back of the room as you stretch your left hand towards the front and then up triangle position so you can drop your hand down to your shin or to a block as you reach your right arm up tall towards the ceiling so find the twist in the cervical spine as well by gazing up feel the stretch on the inner left leg and the inside there'll be a lot of those growing muscles the hamstrings soften through the left knee and gently come back up into your warrior two position reaching your arms in opposition find the letter a straighten your left leg pivot the toe back in towards the center take both feet pivot them in and out coming into a goddess position so bring your feet to point your toes to the outside heels to the inside exhale melt down into your goddess position let's sway side to side find some movement in your hips releasing the pelvis also working the quadriceps a little bit here and just find a little gentle flow and now straighten your legs reach your arms all the way up towards the sky exhale goddess position one more inhale arms up towards the sky exhale goddess position this time take your hands onto the inside of the thighs and drop your right elbow or your right shoulder down look over the left shoulder so you're taking your right hand push the right knee away from you as you look over the left shoulder finding the gentle twist inhale back into the center and exhale twist to the other side so push the left hand into the left knee as you look over the right shoulder and then come back into the center slowly bring your arms out and up overhead straighten your legs find the letter a and then exhale bring your hands in the heart center you guys are amazing go ahead step back up at the top of the mat bring your feet hip distance apart inhale chair pose bend the knees lift through your heart spiral the pinkies in and then tuck the tailbone under so we take the back bend out of the picture so we have a nice little a nice straight spine drop the shoulders down away from the ears we got three two one exhale fold all the way down towards the floor inhale half lift flat back exhale fold inhale root to rise bring your arms all the way out and up overhead palms touch cross the thumbs find the back bend exhale hands in the heart center 
One more. Inhale, bring your arms out and up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, arms out and up, overhead. Exhale, hands in heart center. So we're going to go all the way down into our downward facing dog. So inhale, arms out and up, overhead, big vinyasa. Exhale, swan dive down towards the floor. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Step back, find your plank position. So bring your shoulders directly over your wrists. Engage your core, your quadriceps, your hamstrings. Widen the shoulders as you broaden through the collarbone. Exhale, drop your knees down towards the floor. So you got knees, chin, and chest. Bring uh, your biceps into the side ribs. As you slither down, tip your tailbone up towards the sky. And then melt it all the way down onto your belly. Bring your hands right by your shoulders. Squeeze your inner thighs, ankles together. Inhale, lift your chest up off the floor. Find your breath. And then exhale down to the floor. Let's do one more inhale. Lift your chest up off the ground. Look up in order to go up. Exhale down to the floor. Last one. Deep inhale. Exhale down to the floor. Let's go ahead and take your right arm, reach it long, and take your left hand, push it into the left, roll over onto your belly. So we're now down onto our backs. And then take your right leg, reach it up tall towards the sky, hover your left foot up off the mat, interlace all 10 fingers, release the index finger, and then pulse up to the outside of the right leg. So we've got five, Four, three, two, one. Let's change legs. So you go ahead, bring your legs all the way down to the floor. Inhale, lift the left leg up. Hover the right foot up off the floor. Take your Charlie's Angels gun and reach it out to the left side of your leg. You go ahead, hover the right foot up off the ground and then pulse it up. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come all the way down to the floor. Ah, oh, feels good, you guys. <laughs> Take your hands, interlace your hands behind the back body. So keep your elbows wide, move into bicycles. So bring your right thigh up parallel to the floor and you could extend the left leg long. Take your left elbow to the right knee. Reach your left scapula all the way up and off the floor. Inhale, come back to the center, change legs. Right elbow to the left knee. Squeeze. Inhale, come down, change legs. You can exhale as you squeeze up. Inhale to the center, change legs. Right elbow to the left knee. And then come on down, inhale. Change legs, exhale. Inhale to the center, change legs, exhale to the left. And come all the way down. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Rock your back side to side. Just massaging out the back. Ah, feeling the benefits of your practice. Let's go ahead and take the left foot down to the floor. Reach your right leg up tall towards the sky. Bring your hands behind the calf and just bring your toes closer to your forehead. It's finding a nice stretch here. Take your right foot on top of the left knee. Bring your hands in between the legs. Put it on the back of the left leg as you push your right knee away from you. Let's go ahead and change legs. Plant your right foot down onto the floor. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Point your left toe. Maybe bring your hands behind your calf as you bring your toes closer to your forehead. Go ahead, bend the left knee. Place the left ankle on top of the right knee and interlace your hands just underneath the left hamstring. Bring your right knee closer to you as you push your left knee away from you.
And then slowly release. Hmm. Let's go ahead and rock back and forth a couple of times. Come all the way up and we'll move into the yin portion of class. So our first position is going to be Gomukhasana, where I'm going to find my blocks and I'm going to find some pillows as well. So let's move into our first yin posture. We're going to move into a Gomukhasana with eagle arms. So we're going to go ahead, take your right knee under and then take your left leg over. Stack your knees on top of each other and bring your heels all the way to the outsides of your hips. Now, if this is difficult for you to do at all, go ahead and straighten your bottom leg and just keep your knees stacking and bring your left foot all the way over to the outside of the right hip. Moving into the eagle arms. So you can raise your arms up towards the sky. I like to find the length in the arms first and then go ahead and wrap your left arm underneath the right. Cross your elbows, cross your wrists, palms touch. Now if your palms can't quite touch, you can always try to hook a finger. Another option is just to give yourself a hug. You know, this is a gentle flow. So if you want to just give yourself a hug, go for it. But then go ahead, find that nice flat back. Hook your elbows over the knees and you can let your head rest. So wherever you want to be. And if you're uncomfortable here at all, you can always put a block here. Maybe you want to rest on a block. I'm going to go ahead and start the, the timer. So wrap your arms around or give yourself that big hug and go ahead, lean forward, hook your elbows. I'm going to use the block. I just want to kind of find the nice softness and then you can just let your head hang heavy. The wood element of this class falls under the liver and the gallbladder. The liver meridian begins at the top of the big toe and runs up along the inner leg, just above the kidney meridian. It enters the torso through the groin and it goes through the liver and the gallbladder into the lungs and up through the throat and into the head, circling the lips, moving into the eyes. The gallbladder meridian begins at the outer corner of the eye travels down the lateral side of the body into the outer hip. An internal branch goes through the neck and chest into the liver and gallbladder. It runs down into the outer knee and ends in the fourth toe.
then we can slowly come on out of it. Whew. Lean back on your hands. Take your feet out in front of you and go ahead, windshield wiper your legs left and right. And let's get ready to work the other side. So go ahead, take your left foot under and your right leg up and over. Get your knees to stack. Maybe I notice it helps me a lot to kind of lean forward, bringing my knees to stack and then lean back. Bring your feet to the outside of your hips. If you need to straighten your bottom leg, go ahead and do so. Let's find the eagle wrap with your arms. So bring your arms out and up overhead. Exhale, bring your right arm underneath your left, cross your elbows, cross your wrists. Now if you need to have the block handy and ready, go ahead and move your block into place. So you can either do your eagle arms, we're wrapping your arms all the way around. Otherwise, if you have a hard time getting your hands to touch, you can hook your thumb in your pinky or you can give yourselves that big hug. So go ahead, deep inhale. And then exhale, fold. We have four minutes on this side as well. Wood poses focus on creating more range of motion in the hips, particularly external rotation at the hip. These poses can be used to rehabilitate lower back pain associated with the tight hip flexors and tight lower back associated with tight hip flexors. Wood postures help to reduce anger, frustration, and irritation. And then let's slowly come on out of it. Oh, lean back onto your hands, bring your feet out in front of you. Windshield wipe your legs left and right. Oh, oh that feels good, huh? Okay. 
So our next pose we're going to do is sleeping swan pose. So we're going to go ahead and bring your left thigh up to the edges of the pillows and go ahead and bring your right leg back. We'll have your pillows right at your side and then you can bring your arms up and over. So we're going to lean over the pillows. If you want a block for your head, you can go ahead and use one on whatever level it is that you're at and then reach your right. Wood yin yoga poses can be effective in treating the following conditions, mood swings, depression, PMS, irregular or painful periods, constipation, stomach discomforts, and poor appetite. We come on up. We'll prepare to do the other side. So bring your pillows up and over to the other side. Bring your legs 
into the sweeping, sleeping swan position on the other side. So you're going to bring your right thigh parallel to the pillows. You could bring a block up and over to the other side. You could use a pillow if you needed to up there. Just find anything that is comfortable. We have four minutes, so go ahead, sweep your arms up and over the pillow. If you want to put your head on a block, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and flip mine to the lowest level, and you can take your left arm. Feel free to bend it if you'd like to. Put it on your, your head. You can put it on the back of the block. Actually, I don't really want to block myself. I'm just gonna put my head down on the floor. And just keep your left elbow soft. So find a comfortable position and just rest four minutes. The emotions for the wood element are anger or compassion. The sense organ is sight. The color is green and the season is spring. And then let's slowly come on up. Take your left hand, push it into the floor, your pillows. Slowly come on up. Ah, you cross your legs. Let's go ahead, maybe you wanna find some circles, some Sufi circles. Ah, maybe you wanna change directions. Just getting the spine flowing again, kind of getting out all of those kinks. Ah, inhale, bring your arms out and up overhead. 
Exhale down. Let's do one more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, move into our next posture, which is a wide leg fold. So we're gonna take our blocks, move them out of the way, bring your pillows straight in front of you, and then we'll separate our legs. So make sure your heels are down onto the floor. You could have your pillows out in front of you. Now, if you need to, you can always bend the pillows and kind of lean forward. It just depends on how flexible you are. And if you are able to, you can go ahead, put them flat in front of you, and then let's go ahead. You can start to walk your hands forward, leaning over your pillow, and find the softness. This doesn't have to be the most extreme stretch. This is yin. We want to go to about 80% of our edge. And when you find your comfortable edge, go ahead and relax your head down onto the pillows. Our liver is the main organ for detoxification, while our gallbladder stores bile produced by the liver, aiding the digestive process. The main job of the liver meridian is to keep the energy in the entire body regulated. When out of balance, we may physically experience fatigue, migraines, tight hips, and low back pain. Emotionally, we may experience erratic emotions such as anger and frustration. When in balance, relief can come in the form of self-compassion, balanced emotions, flexibility to change, and letting go of frustrations. The liver has a huge impact on the overall health of your body but also on the mind and the emotional state. When you're ready, slowly come on up, wake the body up. Ah, oh, 
feels so good. And then we're moving into a supine twist. So you can move your pillows out of the way. I've got my phone here because I've been timing it. We can roll all the way down to our backs. And when we come into the supine twist, take your whole body and actually I'm gonna go this way just to show you. So come into a fetal position. Interlace your fingers behind your head. So this is a slightly different one. It's called Stargazer. So you have your knees in line with your hip and then your elbows on top of each other and just open up the elbows only. So go ahead, open up the elbows. Up towards the ceiling. If your arm is kind of hanging there, if you're not flexible enough yet, you can go ahead and use a pillow to put it on your elbow. And just find your comfortable edge and we have four minutes. A healthy liver and gallbladder helps to support the body's metabolism and its natural ability to eliminate unwanted toxins and waste products.
slowly roll back onto your side. You can take one hand and push it up. Uh, coming out of it. My little pack came off. We're gonna get ready to move on to the other side. So I'm gonna face you. You can turn over if you'd like, but I'm just doing this for um, your visual. So find the fetal position on the other side. Interlace your hands behind the head. And then just gently open the elbow out to the side. So you can also stay where you are at and just flip over into the fetal position on the other side and then flip the elbow open. So just giving you some options. Again, make sure that you have the pillow there if you are not all the way down to the floor, if you need a little added assistance. And we've got our four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and find the timer. Allow yourself space to feel completely any emotions. While stretching these energetic pathways, notice any of the physical sensations that may accompany that emotion. With each exhalation, release these emotions and let them go, offering compassion to the situation or person causing you tension.
And then let's slowly roll onto our backs. We could lift our knees up towards the ceiling. Oh, reach our arms down to the floor. We can windshield wipe with the legs side to side. Then we're moving into our final savasana. So if you want to get a blanket, if you want to move pillows underneath your legs, go ahead and do so. I'm going to go ahead and sit up just for a second. I'm going to grab one pillow, put it under my knees. I'm going to take the other pillow and put it behind my head. So we have 10 minutes here. Let's go ahead and find a comfortable position. So I have my blanket. I've got a pillow underneath my knees. So go ahead and relax all the way down onto the pillows. Ah, oh, you could get under your covers if you'd like. Get cozy, get comfortable. Feel the ground support you. Move into the breath. Just relax. Your body thanks you, your mind thanks you. It's really important to always take time for self care. Your life is filled with too much business, too much hurry too much stress. Just for a moment, let go of all of that. There are too many machines vying for your attention with ringing, beeps, blinking, flashing, and badges. Just for a moment, turn them all off and put them away. Your body is tense with too much caffeine, too much anxiety, too much sense that you have to move, move, move. Just for a moment, let go of all of that and sit quietly. Emotions move through your body, each seeming crucial and compelling. But these emotions are simply some physical sensations. You don't need to do anything about them right now. Just for a moment, let them be. Thoughts rattle around in your head in a never-ending stream of words. But these words are nothing but sounds in your mind. You don't need to do anything about them right now. Just for a moment, let them be. There is an urgent sense that you must do something, that there are actions to take. But will you be able to get things done in a little while? You don't need to do anything about them right now. Just for a moment, let them be. If anything else arises in your experience, that too is just some content. You don't need to do anything about that right now. Just for a moment, let it be. If any insights, visions, feelings, communications, memories, or other experiences arise, that's fine. That is just some content. You don't need to do anything about that right now. Just for a moment, let it be. If at any point you feel like you're doing something on purpose, just let that be. Let it be. This is by the author Michael W. Taft. Thank you, Michael.
And get fine sensation in the fingers and the toes. Maybe you stretch your hands back, flex the feet, make a fist, and as you point your toes, maybe rolling them. Sip in a deep inhale, raise your arms up overhead, stretch and grow your spine. Exhale, bring your knees and your chest, give yourselves a big hug, rock it side to side, massaging the low back. Hmm. Roll over to one side of your mat. 
it doesn't matter. And when you're ready, gently push yourselves up. You guys did it. Thank you so much for joining me for Pajama Yin. It's actually Pajama Flow and Yin with a little bit of jewelry. So we got some bling going on today. Uh, this segment was focused on wood. It was all based on the wood element. And uh, yin is always a challenge for me because uh, when I find the stillness in yin and through meditation, I all of a sudden can feel my feelings and I have to deal with them. So uh, it's a good challenge for me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. It, it, it's just such a, an awesome practice. So keep sticking with it. It doesn't matter where you are in your yoga practice. You can always improve and you, there's, there's, you can start at any point in your life. It doesn't matter. I didn't get into yoga until I was in my forties. So I'm really into my, into yoga until my forties. So anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the class. And I'm sending you all so much love, light, joy, and peace from my heart to yours. Namaste. Bye. <laughs>